Onivia, League of Legends highlights. The early game and then the amount of damage they have available is insane and I don't think Daft is going to be able to get a lot done here in this game. It's another situation where you're a fetus and you're like, well, I'm playing against Corky Ziggs. <laughs> that, that'll, that, that'll be fun. <laughs> well, never mind. He's pretty far up and the chains will land. So now, only now will he see Pyoshik and it doesn't matter what champion you are, if you get that kind of reaction, you're not... This I don't know about this. This is coming extremely in. aggressive. The tether is going to land. They get on top of death. It's a lot of damage coming out, but Lahens will burn down as they will trade the kills for now. This is gonna deny a bunch of the CS going the way of death, and they're looking for more as the Q comes in. Peanut flashes away, and he makes that gank absolutely worth. Really nicely done. He's getting his first strike gold. He's like, I don't, I don't really care what's happening with these guys. Wow, flash in, trying to get on top of Deft. There's so much damage coming out here. The last auto will be enough, and they take down Deft again. No flash, and Lahens still had his. That's going to be one kill into another. Lahens is just insane in this series. He sets up yet another couple of kills in the bottom lane. Over. He can definitely kill Deft here, and Deft is not going to respect it. He has his flash. He does not even bother. And that's just going to be Deft dead once again. Not the, not the, not the best feeling if you are a Deft fan. Has not been having a lot of fun in the series. I suppose in the early uh, game of the first one, it was okay. As Peanut is up in the top lane now, looking for the kick. They are inside the circle, and that should be an easy kill onto King and Peanut and Lahens. We saw a lot of support and jump. really gets to have the same impact anymore if you pick it early in the draft. Peanut's here, and he's looking to get this kill down. Might. Doesn't look like any smites are coming in, but Peanut is going to pick it up. He will trade his life eventually. Takes quite a while there, and that is a nice little shutdown into the pockets of Zekka. So, yes, you get the Chemtech Drake. It's decent, as we will have this big trade up in the top side. The Needles are throwing, but the Immortal Shield Bow keeping Doran alive and the Lifesteal as well. And guess what? Lahans is in the top lane as well. You've seen him bot, you've seen him mid, and now the third behind. Uh, because he's been put so far ahead, he is never afraid, right? Like he is in no danger, picks it up for free. Kyoshi gonna be very, very sad about that as, oh, here they are again. Yeah, Barrel does have a stopwatch, and I think one. it will save his life because Peanut is in kind of no man's land here. He will get denied on the blast plant as he gets hooked in with the dredge line, so Peanut, he's having a lot of fun. In a way, he's not going to face check that brush though, which is definitely a good idea. He still has the package here, they're just trying to get him to use it. As I think Peanut really wanted to get in there and maybe punish the distortion. Either way, he is being extremely... Peanut's here. And this time he has smite, so let's see how he does. It's going to be Aphelios, actually death who does pick it up here for DRX. Doran on the flank gets in behind them. He does have that grip, but he is still taking a lot of damage. He will get the kill on the Sin Zhao, and Ruler just barely going to survive. But look at those needles coming in from King and doing a hefty amount of damage. And frontlining for his team, Depth does get it done. But guess what? Chovy is still alive. He was having fun on the top side of this fight, and he will be able to clean up the rest of it. It does look like Severum does come out, but that is a big missile to the back from Jovi, and they will even give him, actually, they give it to Doran. Doran picks up the kill, and it's still a decent fight in the end for Genji. And while that was happening, the enemy team is gonna invade and take your red. So, nice try. Who collapses on who? Uh, they're trying to get onto King, and they're lining up for all the needles. He is surviving for a long period of time, but it will not be enough. He is just too far behind, as now Barrel will eat a lot of that damage. Zekka does a nice job on the back line, but that's only onto Leona, as Peanut gets the kick perfectly onto Deft. And Pioshek just barely trying to pick up one kill, and that will be it for him, as he does go down. Gen G just absolutely smashing them. Well, not this one just never was decent. Doran is just gonna go oh, in no. again, I guess. <laughs> uh, Barrel. Oh, that was mean. Yeah. Lance. Come on, Doran. He was just trying to enable his support to get closer. And uh, they're just, yeah, Peanut's having a little bit too much fun. Not as nearly as clean of a game he has, uh, as he had in game number one, but the outcome of this one honestly feels very, very much set in stone. Yes, it's whatever. And, uh, you know, he's still taking a lot of damage. The uh, the ultimate does come out from the Nautilus, doesn't seem to matter. As Piotrzyk is going to get chopped down here on the bottom side of this fight. 
And Jovi will just be leading the charge with the Baron buff onto this middle inhibitor. 23 minutes in, will Gen Z go for the end now? Or will they go for that double inhibitor is basically the only question we have left. Uh, yeah, they can do whatever. Last time around, they opted for safety. I think this time around as well, just making sure that even if everything goes horribly wrong from here, you have two inhibitors. They have to for another objective as look at these health bars, Valdez. They can't do anything. Yeah. Might as well just take both, right? Just take down both inhibitors. You've got the Baron buff going here. And it does look like they will actually just get into the portal. I, I feel like this is almost just for fun. They're like, well, let's get in the portal. does some damage. Yeah. That was pretty nice. Pina not having as much fun this time around. That is an early ultimate there from Xin Zhao. He even has himself a stopwatch. Not going to matter. I, I enjoy the purchase. Very, very nice idea. As they decide not to flash out of that one, at least for depth. So he's going to take a lot of damage. They're going to go for this last turret and end the game, you would have to imagine. I don't think there's anything that can be done here. And it is just absurd levels of dominance from the entire team. Guys, you can end. You don't, you don't have to go back again. <laughs> They're going to go back again. They're playing it clean. Wait, no. Toby's got TP. Nah. I'm right? Gonna Surely he's just going to TP back. Like, Doran's right? going in there. The rest of the team is like, wait, no, no, let's, let's, let's wait it out. And Zek is finally going to pick up a kill onto the Thresh. So he does, he does get that going. Or not a Thresh, the Leona. No Thresh in this game. As the ultimate will come out here, Jovi doesn't seem to try to survive. He will just uh, run away from that ultimate for as long as he possibly can. Now just frontlining, gonna dodge everything with that stopwatch and let his buddy Graves do the dirty work. As in goes Pina for the kill, even the kick coming in as they want that last one and they will get it. GG, Gen Z, smack him down, 2-0.